Uh, hey, Sonic. Oh, hey, Tails, what's up? Oh, not so much. I'm just kind of having a little bit of trouble with a, with a robot recently. Well, what's been the trouble? You see, I'm trying to make a robot that's sort of like Metal Sonic and Andronic. But, like, the best qualities out of both of them, you know? Yeah, that's a pretty cool idea. What's the problem? Well, I can't really think of a good design or some cool features to add or anything. So I was thinking, uh, maybe you'd like to help. Oh, uh, sure, I can do that. Well, thank you, Sonic. Come on, let's go. Um, should we be worried? No, no one can replace me. I'm the best. But honestly, you kind of suck, so maybe you should be worried. Well, Sonic, as the lead designer, what do you think we should do first? Hmm, let's see. Well, let's see, let's give him a nice smile and nice spikes. Some cool looking eyebrows, some eyes and nose, some nice cheeks. Okay, that's a good start, but what about the body? Hmm, well, let's make him a little pudgy, just like yours truly back in the day. <laughs> A little stomach hatch for eating lots of chili dogs. Well, we gotta get some nice arms on him. Let's give him some back spikes and a tail, just like me. Okay, um, what about the legs? Yeah, it doesn't have to be nothing crazy. Maybe just some legs and some red sneakers or something. Okay, that's a good enough design. Uh, have you thought of a name yet? Mm, no, but the name doesn't have to come to you immediately, you know? Hmm, that's a good point. Alright, Sonic, I'll do the best I can and try and make this robot. Then, building montage later. Alright, Tails, is it done? You bet. Would you care to do the arms, Sonic? Whoa, Tails, he looks great. Except, uh, my drawing looks a little more buff than whatever pudginess he's got going on there. Well, you asked for him to be pudgy and not buff. So, yeah, I guess you got a point. So, Sonic, what do you recommend we do with our new robot? I got the perfect idea. Hold on. <laughs> well, I was going to have him guzzle down a bunch of chili dogs, but I only have one. So, I got a better idea. Hey, Tails, can I uh, borrow your phone real quick? Yeah, sure. We're going to have him prank call Jet. Why do you want to prank call Jet? Because Jet is a prick and I don't like him. Fine. Eh. All right, you should turn on now. Uh, Tails, why does he sound like that? Well, I gave him the ability to speak, but I didn't give him a voice box, so he just kind of makes a bunch of garbled noises. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna make it even better. Alright, hey buddy, I'm Sonic, he's Tails, we're your creators, and uh, we're gonna do a bunch of fun activities with you. Like first, uh, we're gonna prank call a good buddy of mine, his name is Jet, and uh, he has a very annoying voice, so as soon as you hear him, you'll know it's him. And uh, when he picks up, I want you to make the worst noise possible, okay buddy? You know what, don't say anything. Uh. Let's wait until he picks up. Okay. Wow, this is Jet the Hawk, the legendary Windmaster. That is, unless you're the voice. In that case, I am Raymond Schnuzzlewurst. How may I help you? <laughs> yeah, good one, buddy. Sonic, are you sure we should be teaching him all this? Uh, what are you talking about, Tails? Don't be a wet blanket. <sighs> I'm not being a wet blanket, Sonic. I'm worried. About what? Well, if we keep teaching him how to prank and be mean to people, then what if that's all he knows and he becomes evil or something? Tails, haven't you ever raised a chow before? When you raise a chow, if you're a good person and raise it, it turns into a hero chow. If you're a bad person and raise it, it turns into a dark chow. If you're 
Uh, if uh, you have a good person and a bad person both raising at the same time, it's a neutral chow, you know? You played Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic, I'm not talking about raising a chow. This is an artificial intelligence with no intelligence. It's going to do things based off of what we do. And if we're only being mean and nasty, that's what he's going to do too. <sighs> Tails, I think you're overreacting. Fine, Sonic, what do you want to do next? Let's see. Sonic, why did he take us to watch Silver and play with his toys? Because usually at some point he asks us to join in, and I figured maybe our robot friend could play toys with him and learn how to share and stuff. You know, that's actually not a bad idea. It's good for him to learn morals and stuff, and... Oh, God, what is Silver doing now? There you are, Silver. It's a Squirtle, a Charmander, and a Bulbasaur. Which one are you going to pick, Silver? Oh boy, Knuckles, I think I'm gonna pick Bulbasaur. Well, that's cool, I'm gonna pick Charmander. Silver, why are you using a Knuckles toy for this game? Why don't you use one of your actual friends, like a Blaze toy or an Espio toy? Well, Sonic... Blaze and Espio get all flustered and embarrassed when I tell them I play with toys of them. I mean, action figures of them. But when I asked Knuckles if I could play with a toy of him, I mean, action figure of him, then he was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, trust me, I'm sure that if Knuckles knew you were playing Pokemon with him as your rival, then he'd be a little weirded out about that. Now, Sonic, since I'm about to pick my Bulbasaur and Knuckles is about to pick his Charmander, uh... Do you or Tails or your your robot-looking friend want to play as Knuckles and battle me? Oh, sure, Silver. See what I'm talking about? Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Oh, hey, buddy, do you want to play toys? I mean, action figures with Silver? Okay, buddy. So if I remember correctly, your Charmander has, I think, like, two moves at the moment? Get either a uh, scratch and ember, I think. So for the best bet for you would be uh, you just beat him up. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Stop it! I meant the toy. The toy. Hey, stop it! Stop it! That's my favorite toy. Stop it! The Bulbasaur toy. Hey, this game's fine looking fun. Hey, Silver, do you have a Pikachu I could use to fight you with? Get out of my room! Okay, okay, come on, buddy, come on, Tails, let's get out of here. Silver's being a wuss. <laughs> you know what, I'm never gonna ask you guys to play with me again. Oh, that was terrible. I know. You really think at some point Silver should really stop picking Bulbasaur. Sonic, I'm not talking about the Pokemon thing. I'm talking about how you keep corrupting our robot. I am not corrupting him. I am simply just making him act more like me. Yeah, and you're acting like a prick. Oh, come on. He's having a good time, aren't you, buddy? You see, he's happy. Yeah, but he shouldn't be happy about being mean to people, Sonic. We're not being mean. It just so happens that everyone we've talked to today is a loser. Sonic, this is a very corruptible robot we have here. And the more things you do with it, the more you're corrupting it. <sighs> I know, I know. I should be more of a good person, which I am, but I'm also sassy when I need to be. <laughs> Sonic, it's one thing to be sassy. It's another thing to be rude. I know, Tails. I've been teaching our robot to be a jerk. But can I at least do, like, one more prank with it, and then I promise we'll do all the good things you want to do with it? <sighs> Fine, Sonic. One more prank. Who are you gonna prank this time? I want to prank Knuckles. Can't you prank like Shadow or something? 
I mean, sure, but shadow's at work, so let's prank Knuckles. Fine, let's prank Knuckles. Okay, so what's the plan? So basically, everybody here is going to walk over to Knuckles and mess around with the emerald, you know? Or it'll just get him mad. And then when Knuckles comes over to, you know, kick me off and be like, Hey, what are you doing here, Sonic? It's my buddy Sonic, I don't want him here. It's gonna come to Knuckles that that's not me. And he's gonna be like, what's going on? I'm so confused. And then I'm gonna be like, hey, it's me, Sonic. This was a prank. Okay, I don't see this going wrong, so I guess it's fine. All right, buddy, go mess around with Knuckles. <laughs> oh, hey, Sonic, what are you doing here? Did you just eat the Master Emerald? Did he just eat the Master Emerald? Listen, buddy, you better spit that up or else you're going in the ocean faster than this island is. <gasps> ow. Ow, 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 ow. Mm. Did, did you just eat Knuckles and the Master Emerald? Listen, buddy, that's not cool. That's not cool. Alright, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to get them out of you now. Whoa. Hey, get up Sonic right now! Get whoa, 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 whoa! Sonic, is everything okay? Everything's fine, buddy. I just need to lay on this rock for a while. What are we gonna do? Our robot's gone crazy. He's gonna eat everything on the island. I have an idea. But you're gonna have to trust me on this one, buddy. I don't know. You've kind of had a bad track record already, and... Just trust me. Hey, ugly. Open up and say, me hoi hoi man hoi hoi. Well, what's the plan now, stupid? Ugh, don't worry, I got this. Wait, what are you doing? Sonic, you use the power of the Master Emerald to turn into Super Sonic? That's right, little buddy. Now it's time to take down this creep Super Sonic style. Good day's work. <coughs> Ooh, what was that for? For using the emerald without my permission. Now get out of here. And, uh, good job. Well, I'd saved the day. Again. So, uh, what should we do with our old pal? Uh, well, I could always, uh, wipe his memory and reprogram him. No. I think we should just scrap him. Make sure that he's out of commission forever. Uh, that's a little harsh. I mean, I did teach him all that stuff, and it's not his fault that he did all of that. It's my fault for being a bad teacher. I don't care. I think he needs to be destroyed, because, of course, he almost crashed my island. So I think that's a good enough excuse for trashing a robot. <sighs> Let's just think it out for a while. <laughs> All right, boys, good job, good job. <sighs> Greetings, I am Dr. Eggman, although I'm sure you already knew that. I'd like to offer you a partnership.